Good Saturday morning, friends. How are you? Come on in. Have a seat. Let's make breakfast. But a busy night at the pizza shop again last night. So I'm a little sluggish this morning, so I thought I'd whip something up that I could put in the oven and forget about for a little bit. So I'm calling this hillbilly breakfast pie. So what's in our hillbilly breakfast pie? Well, you can choose your meats. I've got a half a pound of sausage and some cooked bacon, and I have a frozen pie shell. My directions on my pack said to put the stuff in frozen. So we're gonna add that meat right into our pie crust. There we go. Now I did season my meat, says I cooked it. Look at that, friends, looks good already. Next, I'm gonna add some fried potatoes. Now, I had these potatoes Handles a little hot. I had these potatoes left over uh, in the fridge. They were baked potatoes. There's two of them. Left the skins on. Same skillet. Didn't even wash my skillet. Just transferred that sausage and bacon out. Put my taters in. Nothing better than a fried potato in a cast iron skillet. Speaking of my cast iron skillet, look at this girl. I got her at Dollar General. I don't know if I told you or not, but I went in there to get. Um, toilet paper for the pizza shop and then when I walked by she caught my eye she's a lodge uh $17.99 it's a 9 10 inch a cast iron it's pre-seasoned but it's not completely seasoned so I've been using it almost every day so I can get it really good and seasoned check it out so if you want a smaller cast iron that is a great size I cook six sausage patties in there the other day and that is perfect. So if you're looking for a piece of cast iron, maybe starting out or add to your collection, check out your Dollar General. See what they've got. All right, so there we've got our taters in there. Now I also seasoned those with salt, pepper, paprika. You can choose whatever seasonings you'd like. In here I have six beaten eggs and I have some heavy cream. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of heavy cream here a couple tablespoons full just to give it a little bit of richness richness and I forgot my cheese how could I forget my cheese so get that stirred up let me grab my cheese really quickly I was so close to having everything I needed wouldn't be me if I forgot that oh refrigerator door didn't shut Any cheese you want. I've got a mild cheddar here. That's usually what I keep in the house all the time. Go. We've got our six beaten eggs. We're gonna pour them right over the top. Gonna kind of make room so we don't overflow the pan here. Kind of work them in and around that stuff. So we'll have an egg catastrophe. It's too early, isn't it? All right. There we go. Get those kind of stirred around in with the meat and taters. Okay, I think I'm not gonna press my luck, so. This was a nine inch uh, pie. It wasn't a deep dish, so deep dish might have worked better but this is what I had from that leftover butterscotch pie I made now we're going to come in with some cheese on top probably about a cup I would say friends this looks good sometimes weird things come to me in the night that's why I keep notebooks around to write things down all right, we're just gonna top the top with cheese like that. I'm going to throw this into the oven. Like I said, my toaster oven is 375. I don't know how long. It could take up to almost an hour to get those eggs cooked through. So I will come back and um, let you know how long it takes. But first let me put this in the oven. I still wanna to talk to you. So our pie is in the toaster oven, and let me show you what we're gonna fix with it. So, you can make homemade gravy if you want. 
that's your choice, but I had a package of this country gravy that I'm going to make, and we're gonna put this over top of our hillbilly um, breakfast pie, because listen, what is a hillbilly breakfast without some gravy, y'all? Now, like I said, you can make your own gravy or whatever, but I have this packet. I'm just gonna go do easy today and do that. I think I'm also gonna make the kids some fried apples. Now, I doubt Elena ever had a fried apple. She's a city girl, and even Brock didn't have a fried apple till we were dating. So I've got some apples over here. So I think I'm gonna do that up with the breakfast casserole, and we'll do that a little bit later when the pie gets closer to being done. And I'll be back, stay tuned, you don't wanna miss all the happenings about to go on in just a few minutes. All right, so our breakfast pie is almost done. Look, I'm so good wet, I was doing dishes. Short, fat girl problems. Anyway, we're gonna make our fried apples now. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of butter. Lola's upset because they went outside without her. Yeah, she doesn't wanna get off the couch to go with them, so she's howling. The boys went outside. All right, so we got two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna add in almost a cup of brown sugar there. I'm gonna get that on the stove. I'm gonna get it melted. And when all the sugar is melted up, I'm going to add in my apples. I have three peeled and sliced apples. You can go outside. All right, we'll be right back. I'm gonna let Lola out. I mean, friends, come on, look at Chris's hillbilly breakfast pie. Now I'm gonna let it sit and rest for a few minutes. This was about 40 minutes in my toaster oven, so every oven varies. So you just wanna make sure that those eggs are set in the middle. Now, I'm making the gravy that we're gonna pour over it. I'm just following the directions on the, on the package. Nothing too hard there. And then I'm making those um, fried apples also. So we'll let this rest while I make the fried apples and the gravy, and then we're gonna be right back to paint it all up. Stay tuned, we don't wanna miss this taste test. This is something that I came up with in the middle of the night, so we're gonna see how it tastes. So I'm working on frying the apples. I underestimated my need of brown sugar, so I added another half a cup, so that was one and a half cups and three sliced apples. I'm adding cinnamon, that is a personal choice, and I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of water and we're gonna let this go back, and then I'm gonna let those apples cook until they get soft. Now, this is how my family has cooked fried apples. I'm sure you have a recipe. If you don't, you're welcome to follow mine and try it. So we're gonna let them go. We want those apples to cook and get soft. All right, here we go, and I'll be right back. I wanna come on really quickly and show you the apples and what I'm doing here so that you have a reference. You turn that heat up and you want it to almost come to a boil. This is going to cook that water down. This is gonna thicken your sauce and it's going to make those um, apples super tender. So that's what you want to do. I just wanted to show you in case you've never made fried apples before. That way you'll know what's going on. It's the best time. It's tasting time. Here we've got Krista's Hillbilly breakfast pie. We've got those fried apples. I mean, come on. Oh, look at that, these are delicious with anything. And then we have that gravy, and I just cheated this morning and made this uh, packet of country gravy. Pioneer brand is my favorite. You can totally make homemade. Let's taste this and see. Oh, getting the first piece out is always the most nerve wracking. So let's get in here, get under that crust, there we go. Oh, got it. Look at that, friends. Can you see that? Oh, oh we. Chris's Hillbilly Breakfast Pie. Now, we gotta top it with a little bit of gravy. Look at that. Then we gotta have a little bit of fried apples, a little bit of that delicious sauce on the side. My mama will be proud of that. Look at that. Now, let's give it a taste. That pie turned out pretty. There it is. Mm. 
some of my best ideas come to me in the middle of the night. And this one did not disappoint. Friends, I'm telling you, a little bit of that fried apple on the side. Mason's going to be so happy with this one. Mmm. 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 This would be perfect for Easter. Easter brunch. Easter breakfast. Oh, friends. Friends. All right. Good. It's so good. I'm going to go. I'm going to go chow down. I'm going to call in the suey. I'm going to call in the hogs. <laughs> and we're going to have breakfast together. There you go. Chris's hillbilly breakfast pie with some fried apples. Can't get in country or the night. Hope you make it. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, like and subscribe. Hang out with us as my friends. We're fun. All right, bye, friends.